English Tim here. Today we're looking at the recent Dominion War updates and what's happened since version 9.2. There's been some great stuff for the uh, low and no payers. So if you're uh, trying to get hold of good power gear, now is much easier than it used to be. So uh, how are you doing? I uh, say so one thing I have noticed is there was a lot of talk before the event about how much war would result from this update. Now perhaps your kingdom is really, really bad. Uh, maybe it's more like my kingdom. Uh, we've had a pretty organized system for a while and all the leaders are talking and so far we've had one minor conflict since, uh, since it started. Big alliance and a small alliance both wanting the same castle. Now I'm assuming that's going to be uh, happening more around uh, different, uh, different kingdoms, but uh, so far I say it's been pretty organized, so I'm hoping you guys are not having too much, uh, too much trouble. Now one thing that's come up in this update that's uh, really exciting is the changes to the Alliance store. So if you, uh, well, if you check out our Alliance message, you can see the, uh, the core message from our leadership, donate, donate, donate. I will, I will uh, add my, uh, my tuppence to that and say that's a brilliant thing, it helps the Alliance a lot, and you'll also help yourself. So if you go to the store, you'll see now that there's a huge array of items that you can buy and some quite rare items that you uh, would take a long time to get elsewhere. So uh, things like destruction ingots you can uh, get from uh, barbarian hunting but you only get a couple a day. Um, so now you can buy seven a day here as well. You can also buy dream arcana which can be used to forge gems. So destruction ingots to uh, create armor. And you can also see that you've got scrolls that will enable you to build hero weapons and uh, you can also build the top hero weapon with the torrent ascendant scroll most of these items you'll notice are sort of the second uh, tier of all of the different uh, different types uh, that's still very good if you're an intermediate player or a beginner especially then all of these uh, are worth buying to get your stats up you'll also see the silver leaf that was previously not available uh, from anywhere i could find in the game so now you can use those to create artifacts uh, just to note again, that's a second tier artifact, so if you wish to uh, get your stats up now, then these are all great for that. However, this one here is the only one that's great for getting a top tier item that won't be upgraded, hopefully, for a little while anyway. Now, once you've uh, got a full set of all these items, there's still some good stuff for you. There's a 90% deal here, so you can see the 90% off deals will be on a variety of different items. They do seem to change all the time, so they are genuine deals and uh, they can be really helpful. So for example, the advanced teleport, I managed to get it for 20,000 instead of 200,000 on my other account, and that's a massive reduction. You can also get hold of these hero fragments. So for a uh, for those of you who may not have had an NS hero before, a netherfall season hero, they are really, really powerful. If you can o open up just a couple of their first skills, they are more powerful than certainly purple heroes, blue heroes, green heroes, and um, they can quickly become more powerful than a gold hero. So they're definitely worth investing in. So the uh, great benefits for the, uh, for the low and no payers there to uh, start catching up. The question is, how do I get hold of these points? So if you click on the plus up here, you'll see that you can get points by donating to your Alliance Tech, hence the donate, donate, donate. And you can also get points from Alliance Help. So that's when the, uh, the little uh, hands at the bottom of the screen appear and you can click on that to help your Alliance uh, mates to build things quicker. You can also get it from Alliance Construction. So that's new, that's not something that was there before. And Alliance Gatherings. So just going out and gathering on any tiles or the Alliance Mine, they all do count. Now you might find as the territories start to grow that it's actually quite hard to find where things are being constructed. So uh, I've been having to scan around and it was a bit of a problem trying to find out where there was a tower ready to go. There's going to be nearly 200 towers towards the end of this game. So what do you need to do? Well, if you go to territory and then territory on the left here, and then if you go to your alliance tower, you can see here where there was a tower being constructed. So if you click on the, uh, the coordinates there, that will take you to a current project under construction. Now you only need to send one troop to uh, to help get the points towards it. Now check with your leadership whether or not they want big big uh, armies in these to help build them quickly, or whether they're trying to slow them down so everyone can get their points from constructing. 
at the start. I wouldn't be surprised if they try and build them fast, but later on it's going to be a lot harder building these towers. So you probably don't want to build them too fast, or else you'll find lots of people don't get their construction points each day. You should also make sure you donate to Reliance Tech, so that is in the research here. If you find the one with a star on it, that's the recommended one, and you get extra points for donating here. Click that donate button and keep doing it until you've maxed out your points. Now, other things I've picked up on. Given how big these uh, territories are going to start to become, I'll just scan over here, you can see now the size of our territory, and this is um, not that far through, uh, through this update. So um, we'll now be able to move around a lot. You'll find when you're moving to attack a castle, for example, that instead of using an advanced teleport, you could now use a fortress teleport, and those are cheaper sometimes, so if you do have those fortress teleports, they are now more helpful. Uh, previously you could only go to a single location and it was predetermined. Now you can choose anywhere in your territory. So yeah, I think there have been some uh, good updates for the, uh, the low and no payers. So this Dominion update is, for me, uh, a benefit. So hopefully you're enjoying, uh, enjoying the changes. I am English Tim. If you're enjoying my content, please do hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. It does help support me in future development. And otherwise, I look forward to you joining me on my next video.